Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. I am on my porch today because I am going to be sharing with you my fall clean and decorate for my front porch. This is the first fall inspired video that I'm bringing you and it's coming on September 1st. And today is actually also a thoughtful Thursday video. So while I bring you along and share some cleaning motivation and decor inspiration, I will be sharing my thoughts on a topic. So I hope you enjoy this motivation, inspiration, and this little chat that I have for you today, but let's get into it. Okay, friends, before I get into the topic that I wanted to talk about today, I just have to tell you, I so badly wanted to dress in cozy fall attire, but it was quite warm on this morning and definitely very humid, so I was so hot, but I did my best and I still wrapped my flannel around my waist, but you'll see by the end of this video, I'm quite sweaty but I was just determined to bring fall to my home even though it's still really hot here in Austin. So for today's Thoughtful Thursday video, I actually wanted to talk about something that is maybe a little bit difficult to discuss. I want to talk about the dangers of gossip. I'm not coming from a place of never struggling with this. Like I have previously said, these Thoughtful Thursday videos are just as much for me as they are for you all. With that said, it is something that I'm consciously aware of and I try to stay out of conversations where there is gossip, particularly if there is a group of people talking about someone who isn't there and can defend themselves. I think I'm actually sensitive to gossip just because I grew up in a small town and in a big family and both of those things lend themselves to people gossiping. But also, I am just not someone who likes drama or being any part of drama in relationships. But before I get into sharing why I think it's unhealthy to be involved in gossip, I do want to say that talking to someone you trust, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation where you're just trying to process through a difficult relationship and getting advice on how to handle a person or a particular situation with someone is something totally different than gossip. If you need to talk through a situation or an ongoing issue with an a relationship with a trusted friend, I think that that can be really beneficial. Before I go any further, I did want to start by giving you a definition. So gossip is casual or unconstrained conversation or reports about other people, typically involving details that are not confirmed as being true. So the main problem here is talking about people when you don't fully know if what you are saying about them is in fact true. In my opinion, if you have assumptions about someone, talk to them about it, not to other people. So why do people gossip? People often gossip because it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel powerful to have and share information about other people. If someone tells 
tells you something that might even remotely be private, I would suggest not sharing it with others and err on the side of caution or ask them if it was confidential. It's sensitive information that can easily get twisted when spread from person to person. People also sometimes gossip because they are hurt by someone and want to get sympathy from others. They basically throw someone under the bus in order to get sympathy and attention from others. Another reason people may gossip is to make themselves feel better about their own life or their own choices. If they can deflect and point out how someone else is terrible or making bad choices, it makes them feel better about themselves and it makes them look better. I would suggest the healthy thing to do is look inward. Anytime you do talk about someone, evaluate why you felt the need to share that. If you have an issue with someone, go talk to them. Get the facts directly from them and not through talking to other people. So what should you do if you are in a conversation where someone starts to gossip? This really depends on the situation and your relationship with the person who is gossiping and the person who is being gossiped about. But one thing I do is to just not participate in the conversation. The conversation will die down more quickly with fewer people involved in it. If you know the person who is being gossiped about and you know that what is being said about them is likely hearsay, I would suggest defending that person. If you are in a trusted group of friends, you should be able to call out people who are speculating about others, especially if it has to do with attacking their character. If it is really an uncomfortable situation, you could also excuse yourself from the conversation, stating that you don't feel comfortable having this conversation without the other person present. Gossip hurts people. It hurts people's reputations and it changes the opinions others have of that person often in an unfair way. If you have ever heard that others were talking behind your back, you know how upsetting that can be. One of the principles that I try to live by in life comes from the Bible and it is to treat others like I would want to be treated. Since I would not want someone talking poorly about me, I want to do the same for others. I know this conversation today was tough, and I sincerely hope that this came across the way I intended it to. Please know I am not here to judge anyone or make anyone feel bad. I myself have struggled with this in the past. I'm only here to encourage you to evaluate your behavior so you can become the best version of yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope it gave you the motivation or inspiration you need for some fall decor around your house. I also hope you enjoyed the discussion I had today on gossip. I always love hearing from you in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on the things I shared today. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and every Thursday I like to share my thoughts in addition to some cleaning, organizing, and or decluttering motivation. If this is something that interests you, I hope that you might consider subscribing to my channel. But thank you so much for watching this video until the end, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!